Hey guys, how's it going today? Well, I'm doing something kind of strange. Well, it's not strange, but it's different, I guess you would say. Um, I'm baling hay, or grass, I guess you would call it, at Martinsville Speedway. And uh, over there's a track, and there's some cars going around the track right now. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're practicing for something, but it's it's not uh, it's not the Cup Series, I don't believe. But I'm not sure who it is. But anyway, what is going on here is you can see the wind rose out there. This is a parking field. And they come in here and they mowed the grass in the, on this with a finish mower behind a tractor. And there was so much grass here um, that they didn't they didn't like how it looked. So they actually hired us to come in here and figure out what to do. So the best thing that we could come up with to do was to rake rake the grass up into windrows and bale it and get rid of it. Now. I'm using the, the uh, 7610 John Deere here because this tractor was already in Martinsville running the straw blower. And this rake I'm using back here actually belonged to me at one time, but it now belongs to an employee of my dad's partner. So he lives down this way and uh, we ended up using his this rake, which used to belong to me and I sold it to him. I don't know, I guess about two years ago now. I sold it to him about the time I got the Kubota RA-2072. So, uh, I'm familiar with this rake. Now, I've never got it, I've never used this tractor to get up any hay, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Most of the time I use, or all the time, I've been using our new hauling tractor to get up hay, of course. Um, Speaking of that, I talked to the new Holland dealer this morning, and hopefully my tractor is going to be done this week. The one that uh, the new tractor that uh, had the balancer problem in the engine, the T5120. Hopefully, it's going to be ready this week. But um, yeah, y'all can hang out with me a little while today, and we'll see if we can bail this. Um, I've got a square baler down here because. We didn't want to have to bring another tractor down here. I don't have this tractor wired for a, the bale monitor on the new Holland baler. So I brought a Squire baler down here. And I brought the, my old Squire baler down here. It's a 315 New Holland. And hopefully it's going to be able to bale this. It's pretty wet. It's been raining down here quite a bit. It's pretty wet. And I, I just don't know what's going to happen. I may end up shearing a bunch of pins, but. It's not really going to dry off too good today, I don't believe, because it's just overcast. So, I guess we're just going to have to find out what happens uh, over time here. Let's just see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to continue to rake. I'm, this, it was already raked, but it's been rained on, and it's, um, it's mashed into the ground. And I'm trying to clean it up as good as possible, so I'm going to rake it. I'm raking it again and kind of flipping it over. And, getting it back up out of the grass and uh, the other thing this hay this grass is not it's not anything that I'm concerned about as far as quality I won't bail it when it, as soon as it gets dried up I think it's not going to hurt the baler uh, I'm not even you know we're not even going to try to use it for feed or any type of thing we're just taking it up here and it's going over a bank but we figured the best way to handle it was to bail it into a bale so we could, we could move them. You know, there's not really any way you can pick up a whole field of grass and move it anywhere without putting it in, putting strings around it. So that's our thinking anyway. All right, we'll see y'all in a little bit.
Alright, well I've done all the raking that I've that I'm gonna do. Uh, so I'm gonna go unhook this rake and I'm gonna hook to the I'm gonna hook this big behemoth of a tractor to a little 315 New Holland square baler. I'm gonna see if I can bail this stuff and it's so fine I don't know how well uh, the pickup is gonna actually pick the, pick it up. It's a lot, I mean, cause it's been chopped up twice by a finish mower or a bush hog one. Um, so it's not exactly, you know, even the second cutting hay, when you mow it with a disc bind, it doesn't chop it up really fine. It, you know, it leaves it however long the hay is. But this has actually been chopped up, so I don't know how well the pickup teeth are actually going to pick it up. But we're going to find out here in a minute. Um, it's still pretty damp right now, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. Like I say, I don't really care about how high the moisture is as long as it will go through the baler. So I'm going to go ahead and hook, it up, hook the tractor up. We're going to give it a shot. See how it goes. But I have a feeling this big green tractor is going to look funny hooked to that little square baler. All right, so here's my 315 square baler. Uh, you had to go way back in my videos to see this thing baling hay. But uh, I noticed if you look way out there in the distance, Martinsville Speedway's got a, uh, a new T5 down there. And I don't know if it's a T5 110 or a T5 120 because I hadn't been close to it. But it's a new... T5 tractor down there pulling a, a John Deere Batwing. Uh, they've had that Batwing for years, but they are uh, they used to have John Deere tractors because they were sponsored by John Deere, but now John Deere pulled out and now they're using the New Holland tractors. Um, but anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Last time I was here, they had a T5, but it wasn't the new version of the T5. It was the older the one that had the older looking hood on it, uh, T5-115 is what they had. And I, I'm not sure which one that is, but I just thought that was interesting. Basically a tractor just like mine, except it doesn't have a loader on it. Anyway, let's get this John Deere hooked up to the square baler and see if it can break something. notice on this baler it's got four hoses now you don't see many 315 balers that have four hydraulic hoses um, this baler has a custom made uh, hydraulic pickup for the header the hydraulic cylinder right here my dad built it and uh, it also has a custom built uh, these hoses here for a custom built hydraulic tongue swing and uh, I actually built that Which there's not a whole lot to it But I'll show it to you here <laughs> Right in there the hydraulic cylinder that I put on the tongue to uh, push it out um Right on top of the cylinder there is a stop. I had to put a stop on it because the cylinder had more stroke than what I needed. I couldn't get it in there where, where the stroke would end exactly where I needed to, so it's got a stop on it to stop it. But it works really good. Um, and here, here's the hydraulic pickup. 
custom built hydraulic pickup head header got a little pulley here it's got a cable that picks up on the, the header right there and the cylinder just works this lever right here it's really works really slick so it's basically got everything on it that my my newer baler's got it's even got i've even got the moisture monitor hookups on it and it's so it's got the tongue swing and the hydraulic header the only thing it don't have is the hydraulic uh tensioners back here for the bell tension that's the only thing it don't have on it that the new baler's got so but it's it's a pretty good baler it don't bail quite as fast of course as the new baler does but it's it's done a good job it's bailed hundreds of thousands of bales because it come off my grandpa's farm and they used it before they got a round baler so there's no telling how many bales this baler has bailed but it's a lot so all right i want to try to get started here and see what happens near as fast as the new baler I got the 5060 but I swear it's heavier I guarantee you it's got more steel in it than that new one does it don't make near the racket running and bailing it sounds a whole lot smoother and quieter just makes me feel like it's got a lot more heft to it more you know just feels sturdier Well, let's go get a spot to eat and then we will continue. Alright, so it's about an hour later here. We went and got us some lunch and let it dry out a little while. And it's, it's bailing much easier now that it's drying another hour. And I'm going the right direction across the hill this time. Gravity's helping me go down the hill in the bell chamber but getting along a lot better now after lunch fortunately John Deere's handling this little square baler pretty good, which I would have been ashamed of it if it couldn't, since I've run it with a TC40 before, and a 4600.
check back in a little bit and see how many bales I got once I get done.